Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're starting a little project here. We got a 91 Ford Ranger and a 94 Explorer that we're gonna do a motor swap. Ranger, of course, has the 2.9 that everybody's familiar with and nobody likes, I believe. And of course, that one has the 4.0. So we're gonna get that one over here into this machine, probably swap out the wiring harness, computer, all that good jazz that we gotta do to get her going. Um, see if we can't get this truck running properly for the first time in its life. <laughs> you know, um, 2.9 was just, in my opinion, too pukey. I guess it was okay, but not for me. That 4.0 is gonna liven this thing right up. Um, I don't know, it might be a two-part video. We'll see what happens, but it's gonna take a little bit, but we're gonna get her going, see what happens. Coming back. Other way. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm smart. There you go. That's right. We all do that. At least twice a day. <laughs> You're going to have to lift it. Oh, we ground got cable. Yeah, this little new dad. And his ground over there. Okay, well, let's just lean her back down and put this up here again. This one. Yeah, just lean her back down. That little dude right there is going to be unplugged. Hey, now we can see better in here. Excellent. I don't know. Should we just go ahead and take uh, the front clip off and the fenders and stuff? Yeah. Just get right down to business? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Well, what we got to do now is we probably need to go ahead and drain the antifreeze. <clears throat> That'd probably be one of the first steps. Let's get rid of that fluid. That way we can start undoing some things. It's not coming out of there? I mean, there's no fluid yet. We'll keep undoing it and see what happens. There's no fluid in there? Maybe there's no injuries in it. That'd be neat. <clears throat> Uh, is there any antifreeze in this thing? There's got to be, right? Yeah, there's fluid in there, right? Yeah, just take that lid off there. And... There we go. <clears throat> Things probably plugged up to nobody's end, huh? All right. Well, I guess the second way to do it is to go ahead and pull that hose. This one right here. That one right there, huh? Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you want to, just yeah, just go ahead and put it back. I guess get it out of the way. One's kind of rusted up over there, huh? Rusted and stripped. Corroded? Corroded. It's corroded. Corroded. They should call it corroded virus. <laughs> well, we're making a little progress. A little progress. Coming along. We're going to rip this. Well, we're not going to rip it, but we're going to take this little number out of the way. That way we can... We can get in there and get it out. Anyways, coming back. Hey, look at that, the old cooling unit coming out. Bye bye. Hey, now we're starting to get some space. Okay. 
Take that little fan off, and then we'll start just undoing some things. Uh, we kind of might, maybe changed our mind about doing this, taking this off. I'm not sure. I think we could do it without it. It's getting too many bolts for this guy, but it gave room for my belly to lean in there anyhow, so we're good to go. So we're slowly just tearing it apart, taking apart the wires. This is mine. And the hoses, and the plugs, and the jugs. We're getting some stuff taken apart. We're getting down to where we can see the motor mounts almost. On this side, it's a struggle. We're trying to take apart as much as we can because it's just that much easier to yank it out of here. Not so much to catch on stuff. But. So all you haters out there, you know, subscribe. Do it. Yeah. Can you get that? <laughs> Come on, just subscribe, man. You know you want to. Just do it. It's for us. Yeah. I mean, come on. I'm trying to make fun. Yeah, we got the one size fits all croissant wrench. Let's see which ways this need to go. I have no idea what I'm doing, and that's okay. But I am taking, yeah, it's gonna be fine. And I'm gonna get this nut off, <laughs> boom. <laughs> <laughs> what you gotta do here, all right, take two. All right, what you gotta do here, take the nut off this side, put her on this side, run her in. I'm gonna hold that, Lee. And of course, you know, um, as per always, the right size wrench is preferred. Not required, but preferred. Or socket, you know, I mean, let's be honest. Gosh, they probably could hear us having supper in the background, huh? <laughs> When do you think it gets to that point, Austin? Um, Not yet. <clears throat> I can feel it getting looser. There we go. Oh, I got it. Just like that. Sweet. Um, Thank you. Yeah, it's a lot easier than a cutting torch. <laughs> it's plan B. Okay. It, look at that. Straight. Oh, reverse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come over here. Let's see. Take a little look. Got the little cross member that transmission mounts to taken out. And we're gonna disconnect it from the transfer case. Well, if I can reach over there, over in that area. Then we're gonna go ahead and pull the motor and the tranny out in one whack. Because we're thinking about dropping a different transmission in here with that motor. And we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it's gonna be a doozy. It's gonna be a fun little doozy. Diddy do, diddy do, do. Doozy of a day. All right. Well, I guess that's day one of the Walker Texas Ranger build. Um, it's a, a mild success. Uh, we got a lot of things taking It's actually ready to come up, except we're going to take the starter out and the oil filter because it's kind of touching off in there. I don't think that'll be a problem once we get that out. And then we still got to get the fan off. Um, 
Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Anyways. Coming along. There we go. I think I can see myself. No, I can't. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit like, subscribe. We'll catch you tomorrow. Let's get this motor out. We're going to swap it out. We're going to do it right. See you next time.